Today, as we approach December 19th, a number of theories are circulating more widely than at any point before. According to information gathered from multiple independent sources, there is growing discussion around the idea that the object known as 3i Atlas may not be visiting the solar system for the first time. Some suggest that it appeared here hundreds of thousands of years ago and is now returning on a long, extended trajectory, bringing it once again into the inner solar system and into close proximity with Earth. At the moment, there is no confirmed scientific evidence proving that such a return cycle exists. The mainstream view still treats 3i Atlas as a naturally occurring interstellar object on a hyperbolic path. And yet, the reason these theories are spreading now is not random, it is the timing. December 19th marks the closest approach this object will make to Earth during its current passage. And for many observers, moments like this tend to reopen older questions rather than close them. On, uh, it will be closest to Earth actually on December 19th, uh, which is just the week before uh, Christmas. Uh, I hope it will not uh, ruin any uh, holiday um, events. What has intensified interest is the way this timeline appears to overlap with ongoing discoveries on Mars. Over the last several years, scientists have confirmed the existence of extensive cave systems and subsurface voids on the Red Planet. These caves are not speculative. They are real geological structures, identified through orbital imaging and radar analysis, and they are now considered among the most important locations for future exploration because of their potential to preserve evidence of ancient conditions, including the possibility of past life. Some observers have begun to speculate about the coincidence between these Martian discoveries and the proposed return of 3i Atlas. They ask whether the timing holds any deeper significance, particularly if Mars once played a more active role in the history of the solar system than is currently understood. At present, these ideas remain speculative. There's no verified link connecting 3i Atlas to Mars or its cave systems. Still, speculation tends to thrive in the absence of complete information, especially when multiple mysteries appear to orbit the same time frame. Adding another layer to the atmosphere surrounding these discussions is the sudden cultural attention directed toward themes of disclosure. Recently, a new film trailer released by Steven Spielberg drew immediate attention for its focus on humanity's right to know the truth and the idea of revealing information to the world all at once. Billboards appeared almost simultaneously in high-profile locations, reinforcing the message and announcing a release date set for mid-2026. The timing did not go unnoticed. For many, it felt less like coincidence and more like reflection. When public curiosity reaches a certain intensity, art often mirrors it. Historically, Spielberg's name has long been associated with stories involving unidentified phenomena and encounters beyond conventional understanding. Whether intentional or not, the release of such material during a period of heightened interest in space, UFOs, and unexplained discoveries has added fuel to an already active conversation. From a more grounded perspective, organizations like the Mutual UFO Network have maintained a cautious stance. According to representatives affiliated with MUFON, Comet 3i Atlas is indeed approaching its closest distance to Earth on December 19th, making this a rare opportunity for amateur and professional astronomers alike to capture detailed observations. While some speculate about the object's nature, the prevailing scientific assessment continues to describe it as a comet or natural interstellar body with unusual but not unprecedented characteristics. At the same time, MUFON has acknowledged that certain aspects of 3i Atlas remain intriguing. Its behavior, visibility, and structural features have drawn attention precisely because they do not fit neatly into the most familiar categories. Ron James, MUFON's Director of Media Relations, has stated that while conventional explanations remain the most plausible, alternative hypotheses cannot be entirely dismissed. He has suggested that if an advanced civilization ever sought to deploy a probe capable of long-term observation, disguising it as a natural celestial object would be a logical strategy. However, after extended observation, there's still insufficient evidence to confirm such a scenario. This balance between curiosity and caution defines much of the current discussion. Even researchers who have explored unconventional possibilities 
including Avi Loeb, have repeatedly acknowledged that the most likely explanation remains a natural one. MUFON itself emphasizes that it prioritizes scientific investigation and publishes its analyses through professional channels to encourage informed discussion rather than speculation detached from evidence. Beyond official channels, more controversial claims continue to circulate. Some individuals claiming involvement in classified space programs describe arc-shaped structures allegedly located beneath the oceans or on the moon, along with accounts of underground facilities accessed by military personnel. These claims are often accompanied by drawings or documents whose origins cannot be independently verified. While such stories capture attention, there is no public evidence confirming their accuracy, and MUFON has repeatedly stated that it treats these reports cautiously. What makes these claims persistent is not proof, but volume. Over time, repeated stories create the impression that something must exist beneath the surface, even if no single report stands up to rigorous scrutiny. As the saying goes, where there is smoke, there is fire. Yet science demands more than smoke. It demands testable data. Mars remains central to many of these discussions. Some independent researchers argue that Mars was once a planet capable of sustaining complex life. A few, such as Dr. John Brandenburg, have published controversial interpretations, suggesting that specific radioactive isotopes on Mars could point to a catastrophic event similar to a nuclear detonation. These ideas remain disputed and are not accepted as consensus science, but they persist as part of the broader debate over Mars's true history. There are also long-standing questions dating back to the Viking missions of the 1970s. Some believe early experiments hinted at biological activity that was never fully pursued or publicly emphasized. Whether this interpretation is valid remains uncertain, but it continues to influence how people interpret new data from the planet today. Against this backdrop, another hypothesis has gained attention. Some speculate that as 3I Atlas passed near Mars earlier in its trajectory, it may have interacted with the planet's environment in subtle ways, possibly affecting ancient structures or technologies buried beneath the surface. There is no scientific evidence supporting this idea, but its persistence reflects the enduring mystery surrounding Mars and its potential role in larger cosmic narratives. Older documents are sometimes cited as well. Notes attributed to Billy Meyer from the late 1980s discussed subsurface water on Mars, particularly ice concentrated near the South Pole. Decades later, missions such as Mars Odyssey confirmed the presence of water ice in regions consistent with those early descriptions. While this alignment is often described as remarkable, it does not necessarily imply foreknowledge. Still, such coincidences tend to strengthen belief in alternative explanations for Mars's past. As plans for Mars exploration and eventual colonization become more concrete, public interest continues to grow. Figures like Elon Musk openly discuss establishing a human presence on the Red Planet, reinforcing the idea that Mars may represent humanity's next major step beyond Earth. For some, this raises an unsettling question. If Mars once hosted life, or even civilization, what does that mean for humanity's place in the universe? As December 19th approaches, attention returns to 3I Atlas itself. One of the most common questions is whether it will be visible to the naked eye. Current assessments suggest it will not. The object remains distant and faint, requiring telescopes and sensitive imaging equipment for observation. Ironically, this difficulty only fuels speculation. To some, the faintness suggests an object designed to avoid attention. To others, it is simply consistent with a small, distant comet. There is also discussion about what might happen during the closest approach. Some predict further anomalies, such as slight orbital deviations, unexpected signals, or interactions with the surrounding space environment. There is no evidence yet that any of this will occur, but the narrow observation window makes this a rare opportunity to gather high-quality data. Meanwhile, MUFON reports that it continues to receive a steady, stream of witness accounts related to UFOs and other anomalous phenomena. These reports are cataloged and investigated when possible, with the organization maintaining a neutral, data-driven approach. Interestingly, MUFON has noted an increase in individuals reporting intuitive or spiritual experiences connected to 3I Atlas, rather than 
direct visual sightings. These experiences fall outside the scope of conventional scientific analysis, and MUFON does not treat them as evidence, but their growing frequency is noted. Some researchers believe this increase reflects a shift in public perception, rather than a rise in actual events, as discussions of UFOs, interstellar objects, and disclosure become more mainstream. People may be more inclined to interpret experiences through that lens. This cultural shift is mirrored by a growing number of documentaries and films addressing disclosure and non-human intelligence. Projects like Accidental Truth and its upcoming continuation focus not just on whether unidentified phenomena exist, but on how their confirmation would change humanity's understanding of itself. The question is no longer simply, are we alone? But what does it mean if we are not? Some theories go even further, suggesting that non-human intelligence may not fit the traditional image of extraterrestrials at all. Instead, these entities could exist in forms or dimensions beyond current scientific understanding, potentially interacting with human consciousness rather than physical space. While these ideas remain speculative, they resonate with ancient belief systems and spiritual traditions that describe similar concepts using different language. From this perspective, disclosure is not merely a scientific event. It is a psychological and philosophical one. Accepting the existence of non-human intelligence would challenge humanity's understanding of reality, responsibility, and purpose. It would also raise serious questions about how advanced technologies should be handled especially given humanity's history of using powerful tools destructively. Throughout human history, people have recorded encounters with unknown phenomena, from cave paintings to religious texts. Some interpret these records as evidence that humanity has never been truly alone, but has lacked the language or framework to understand what it was experiencing. Whether this interpretation is accurate remains unknown, but the repetition of similar themes across time is difficult to ignore. As MUFON continues its investigations, it emphasizes that no single recent report has fundamentally altered the research landscape. However, the organization acknowledges that the convergence of scientific discovery, cultural production, and public interest makes the current period especially significant. Tomorrow, December 19th, 3 to set, Atlas reaches its closest approach. For some, it is simply a rare astronomical event. For others, it is a potential key to a much larger story. Whether the truth turns out to be ordinary or extraordinary, one thing is certain. Moments like this do not come often, and when they pass, the question is not only what we saw in the sky, but what we were ready to see at all. Stay attentive.